Hi, I'm James from Suguru, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mold Suguru. More specifically, how to over mold Suguru to create precise rubber parts on the iPhone 4 or 4S. And the reason we're doing this is to share with you the process and to offer you free molds so you can test it out and work out whether this is suitable for your projects. And when I say free molds, I mean free to download. We've uploaded the files for this mold onto Thingiverse. We've also uploaded it onto Shapeway so you can order parts directly from them. Other things you need, Suguru. You need just one mini pack of Suguru. You need bolts. These are hex head with wing nuts and washers. Its size is 10 by 32 by one inch or M5 by 25 millimeters. Other stuff is toilet paper, scissors, toothbrush, paintbrush, scalpel. I really love this Mendes bludger tool, really useful. Sandpaper and washing up liquid. This is a release agent and works brilliantly with Suguru and you're ready to go. Let's get started! First off, we printed two types of mold here. We've done SLS from Shapeways, which is a very high resolution and it's a little bit tougher than SLA. And we've also done a PLA print from MakerBot Replicator 2, which is really pretty impressive. The resolution is a little lower on this, but it's really, really good for testing this process. First thing, make sure that when you assemble the mold, the two parts, they meet and you have a very tight shot line. If not, you might need to sand it down or file it down a bit to make sure the parts meet perfectly. Next up, apply washing up liquid, which is the release agent, directly to the parts of the mold that come in contact with Suguru. So just paint the detail in a very fine layer. Clean the foam, make sure there's no grease or dirt on it, and insert it directly into the mold. The key factor that will determine the quality of your molded part is the quality of fit between the foam and the mold. And there's a little bit of play here so that's going to give us extra flash, but that can be cleaned off later. Then assemble the mold, just pop the second part on and insert your hex head bolts into the back, pop on the washer and wing nut. I love wing nuts. For this demo, I'm just going to do one corner. Make sure that the two parts of the mold are lined up and then apply pressure, not too much, to the wing nuts. And that's ready to charge. And when I say charge, I mean put sugar in. So just cut open the pack. And this is designed to use one quarter of the pack per corner. So just roughly tear off a quarter of the pack and break this in half, then press it into quite a flat and narrow sausage. What we're going to do is insert the Suguru between the foam and the mold, one on each side. So just insert it in and gently press it down. Same on both sides. Push it in and fold over. This looks like a mess at the moment. This is just stage one. Next, we're just going to generally press and form the Suguru in location. What we're doing here is we're forcing the Suguru onto the phone gently to get the best possible bond and giving it a general form. This is the third part of the mold. I'm just going to quickly apply some washing up liquid to this. This is the compression stage of the process and we recommend you do that in three stages. So if you apply too much force to this, you can drive the release agent out of the mold, which causes problems. This is about flash management. Flash is an inherent part of compression molding. So the third part of the mold is forced gently onto the mold and release. And now you remove the bulk of the flash just with this bludger or you can use a scalpel, but I'm very happy with a plastic tool and just peel that off. Apply a fresh coating of washing up liquid to the third part of the mold. And then compression number two. You'll be able to push this closer to the mold. Basically, we're trying to get it so we can close the mold. But every time we compress, we're generating flash. So it's about gradually removing all the flash. Again, remove flash. If you don't own a spludger tool, you could just use a piece of plastic. You probably have some in your recycling bin. I'm about to form it for the last time, but there's a bit of residue on my third part of the mold. I'm just using the toothbrush to clean that off. Again, apply washing up liquid to the mold. And this should be the last compression. There will be additional flash still, but the molds should meet. And we can see the Suguru is passing out through the flash channel we've designed into the mold. Looks good. And the final flash trim. So this is a manual process, but you could engineer a flash trim tool like the former that would just press on and trim a perfect flash line so you can remove that much more easily, speedily, fastily, more faster, more fastish. So that's all cleaned off. Sugru takes a perfect impression of the surface of the mold and it looks pretty good. 
Repeat that on all four corners and then you're ready to demold. Hold the two parts of the mold together and remove all the nuts and bolts. Gently lift the mold upwards. Finally, lift the foam out of the mold. Okay, and we have a completed form. When you remove the foam from the mold, we will also notice that there is flash on the foam, and that's because the mold fit isn't perfect. That's a combination of tolerances in mold production and the tolerance in the iPhone production. But it's very simple to remove. You can use a scalpel blade, the spludger, or a fine piece of plastic, and just gently remove that. When you've all the flash is removed and this is clean, just leave this to cure overnight by resting it on something like a glass, making sure that the sugar isn't touching any surfaces. And in 24 hours, that'll be a very durable rubber. It'll be pretty good overnight, but before you do anything aggressive, I'd leave it a full 24 hours. So this mold isn't perfect. It could be designed better, it could be easier to use, it could produce better parts, but it should give you a really strong understanding of the process and the potential challenges for designing your own molds for your own projects. So we've taken it this far, and it would be amazing if other people evolved it, improved it, made it better. If you're a professional, you might need our MSDS or TDS. These are downloadable straight from our website as PDFs. And the easiest way to find them is just Google Sugru and MSDS or TDS, and it will take you straight there. Finally, we want to support amazing projects. If you are working on a project that needs Sugru, send me an email, james at sugar.com. We will give free Sugru to the most interesting or inspiring projects we hear about. Okay, that's it for me. I think this is the beginning. So it's over to you to push the boundaries, to take this where it can go, discover its real potential. Let us know how you get on. We'd love to hear about it. James at sugar.com says goodbye.